Dude, look at all this killer stuff. Nash in the house. Wings, wingy thingies, boards. Triple S Invitational winner, you and Jasmine. Mm. Jasmine, right? Yeah. Got Said it, it right. Got it right, you and Jasmine. Hanging out here at Waterman's Boil Garden, about to get some Nash gear in it. So uh, I haven't ridden the limited edition, and I'm wondering if the color of the limited edition makes Carbon Ultra a better board. That's what the test is going to be. That's what the test is but all about. But basically, <laughs> this thing, tell me, Ewan, is this a Carbon Ultra? Is yeah. it a different so board? What's Carbon the deal? Ultra, limited edition graphic. We've got this, and then we've got a limited edition Alana, which is a female line as well. Uh -huh. uh, same as the Carbon Ultra, but this one's, uh, yeah, kind of got some classic. It has Robbie Nash Nash's graphic. signature right there. Check that out. Robbie Nash, classic skull. Yeah. Yeah, with this board, I've ridden these in the bigger sizes. This is, uh, which one is this, this one? This is 85 liters, which for me is like, I'm 80 kilos, which is, I don't know, in pounds, 175. 80 something kilos, like that. good, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's nice because it's that little bit above your weight in liters. Right. So you just, it's about as small as you can go without it being a sinker and it's super stable and easy. Right. And it doesn't feel big. It's only five, four or something yeah, thing's long. Yeah, a chip, so, yeah. yeah. That thing looks killer. And so one of the things I noticed about the Carbon Ultras that I've used, and this is the same thing, just different color. But the Carbon Ultras, it's cool. It's got a handle on both sides, handle on the bottom, handle on the top. Uh, you know, there's a slight concave in the deck, but that deck area just like, it gives you, it's really, really stable on the platform. Also, when you look at the nose of the board, the nose is kind of drawn out, so it's lower volume, so there's not a lot of swing weight in them. So even if you're getting a little bigger board, it's not a ton of swing weight. Uh, so we sell a lot of the Carbon Ultras. They're a really popular board for us. Properly priced, great all-around board. They add in a few of these LEs that have the cool cool graphics and stuff. And today I'm gonna to take out the, the Jet HA. I haven't ridden this HA. This is an S27 full carbon mass, 75 centimeter. Did a test on the MAs with the 35% uh, carbon, but this is a full carbon you can see here. Uh, that nice new fuse, HA, what's that, 280 stabilizer, yeah. So this Jet One uh, HA 1400, I've used it once, but I'm psyched to go winging on it. What I'm most psyched about is the MK4 wing surfer. So this is their updated wing surfer, Mark IV, not MK4. It says MK4, but it's Mark well, IV. Well, that's what MK stands for. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it right one of these days. So with this wing, it's been one of our most popular wings as well. Uh, because it's really user friendly, they've reduced the, the window size so you get a little more canopy material. And also the thing's pretty flat. So like you get a lot of like direct power, like there's not like a ton of dihedral and it, it luffs out really well, it's lightweight. They've done these longer strap handles. You have your, your loops here to put a windsurfing setup on it. Also, they've got a dump valve on the strut thank you very much because packing these things up is a pain in the butt they have their kind of uh sup inflator thing here so you can get up to high pressure pretty easily and uh yeah just talk to jason who's out riding this is i haven't ridden this one yet so it'll be fun to test it out and uh yeah so i'm gonna go suit up it might be four or five but it kind of looks like four meter wingy thing conditions yeah so just gonna go cruise the backyard go ride the foil garden and uh take a couple laps and uh you and anything else you got to tell us about this gear no i mean yeah pretty much just uh New improved wing surface, stiffer, bigger strut and leading edge, new, new handles. It, you've gone through it all, just all improved. This, obviously the wing is kind of the all round, looking for a bit of performance with everything, but uh, yeah, start to see, see your thoughts on it. And I might, uh, once Austin's done fanging around on the kite foil, I might come out and come out and wing with you. Nice, nice. And um, so what is different about this wing compared to the other wing in the lineup? So the Matador is our other one. We've got the Matador and the Matador LT now, which is like light version. It's different handles and no windows, but that one's more powerful, kind of a better low end, but maybe this one's got a bigger wind range right. as well. It's a bit more user friendly and accessible. Yeah. The Matador is really when you want that power to get going in the waves and yeah. stuff like that. It's kind of designed as a specialist surf. Cool. Surf wing. Yeah, so this one, you know, I've been really happy with the, these versions through all of them. The S25 was really fun. You know, for its time, they had a bunch of sizes. We found over time, like, hey, there were there there was improvements to be made, which Nash made. S26 was a great, great wing. Uh, a lot of uh, kind of forward drive, which is really hard to get out of wings, is that forward drive. So I'm hoping it's the same, but it's also lightweight. So when you luff the thing out in waves, obviously I won't be luffing too much because it's just in flat water. But we'll go on pump, kind of you can get a feel for it and see how it's going to luff out in waves, um, just by kind of drifting off the wind. So we'll we'll give it a shot and uh, 
see you guys on the water. Breeze looked like it dropped out a little bit, just went more south. So I'm gonna take out the 5.0 instead of the 4.0. It was cranking 4.0 weather. Wind line is on the outside, so I'm gonna just slog a little bit to get out there. But um, 5.0, Mark 4, 5 meter, 85 liter, Ultra, 1400. Gonna get lit. Time to get leashed up. One of my least favorite things in leashes is coil leashes. So most of the times I use an aftermarket leash just because a lot of the leashes that come with wings aren't that great. Coil leashes, they just knot up, kink up, they ball up, they kind of get funky. It's nice because they're a little shorter with the coil, but a lot of times I don't like how they kink up on me. I personally use a waist leash, don't really like the wrist leash, but it's the one it comes with. It at least comes with leash, which is nice because some people are starting to sell them without leashes. Um, because a lot of people are using accessories, but comes with a leash, so you got it. And oh, it's windy, wings flying. Time to go, time to see how big this thing goes. Oh, nice, there goes you in. Sick, it's got rips on the kite foil. You in sending it. Sick, so on fun. Check out the uh, check out the like pretty deep draft on this. Like it, it, he was saying about the Matador, it's got like a super deep draft, and this one still has a pretty deep draft, but it's not quite as like like what like it's pretty gusty today because it's pretty south. So like you hit by a gust, you don't really feel it as bad. Whereas like in the Matador, it's like boom, the thing punches right in the face. Also, the window placement is actually quite nice. Like big windows in the right place. And it's nice, there's a lot of kite foils around here, so you wouldn't just buzz at me, whack a just freaking doing circles around me and stuff. It's funny when you're winging, you're like the target for all the kite foilers or kites that just want to jump you and go around you, but uh, yeah, it's super cool. Here it comes again, it's gonna come blasting by me. He comes you and he's cooking. Wait, whoa. <laughs> Sick. He's going so fast right now. Okay, here it comes whack. Oh boy. Throwing spray. Oh, you win. Another lap. Here we go. <laughs> oh man, throwing spray on both sides. Sick. That 40 is running is tiny. These guys are killing it. I feel like a kook on the big wing board, but this thing is really fun. I'm enjoying it. Oh no, it's the HA. 1400 pumps pretty well. Still a little bit of drag, but a lot of it's because of the big board, but this wing lops out it's super nice. This wing is definitely my favorite part of the rig. The board and foil goes together really, really well. Definitely still out of pumping shape. Ah. Well, 
definitely gusty on the outside here today. Uh, you know, it's blowing about 15 on the inside. And it's blowing easily. Easily blowing 25 out here. But really gusty. So I wanted to come and try this thing out and see kind of how it works in the super gusty stuff. And uh, it actually did pretty well. I was trying to get it to backwind by forcing my front hand forward. And it would backwind but it wouldn't like it would get a little wind on the front but it wouldn't just like reverse and smash you over a lot of wings if you get super windy and gusty and you slam them forward they just get wind on them back when you throw you off your board whereas this one i kept trying to do that it, it didn't do it it handled the gust pretty well a lot of backhand pressure because i'm at the definitely the top end of the range here but overall pretty considering it's pretty balanced like you know so i definitely like see what ewan was talking about with the with the wind range like it's got a lot of wind range which i definitely like this wing for um so so far really impressed like i think it's got one two too many handles like two handles where you're supposed to grab the right place they work well they could have cut some weight by taking out that center one the outside one but maybe for the guys doing tricks and stuff want to have that center handle but uh two handles are fine all right let's get back in and uh get pretty far offshore here nash ha 1400 this fuse, the stock fuse, full carbon mass, limited edition, ultra, and at Mark IV wing surfer. So, really nice gear. Like, uh, you know, Robbie always, he knows how to make good gear. He's been doing this stuff forever. He's got the manufacturing down. He's got a lot of good dealers, a lot of good feedback. A bunch of great team riders like you and the rest of the crew. Chuck Patterson's here, Austin Kalama, Katie, freaking ripper. So anyways, on this gear here, the board the ultra i've used some of the bigger ultras it's really nice to get on a smaller one a really fun and easy to ride board balanced uh balanced board which is is kind of hard to get it does have feel like it has a lot of nose so when i get started i'm forward a little bit but then with like the sweet spot uh with it you know with this ha when you got to move it a little farther forward but with the sweet spot i've got to move back uh quite a bit so i'm kind of towards the the back of the board which is very typical for kind of like the surf uh hey here comes you surf style but basically what it allows the board to do is you have more of like that surf style feel and um, it does have a little more swing weight because you're moving back on the board but it, it also gets you behind the mass and getting behind the mass allows you to turn better so this M, uh, the HA 1400 is a lot turnier than I expected it's it's I mean I compare it to most other kind of mid aspect coils I've ridden uh, but it's a, it's it works well in that range. Like it's you know I, it's very user friendly. Um, doesn't stall. It like takes a you know it goes down to a pretty low speed before stalling. Uh, not the fastest uh, foil out there by any means. I think a smaller tail would help. But it's actually quite turny for the span of it. It's it's really turning. I would say this 1400 is kind of like you could definitely begin on it if you want to go advanced. Um, going from the the 35% carbon to the full carbon mass i really like the added stiffness of it i think it's worth the extra money i mean you could save some money and get the the glass one uh most of the glass one or um but you know they do have aluminum one too but i think it's worth going up to the carbon it's it's definitely really good uh this wing is freaking sick like it's just very uh quite simple like like i said i think there's too many handles on it um but it, it kind of does everything right it feels pretty lightweight and most wings that are pretty lightweight feeling i wonder about the long Jeopardy, like is it gonna hold up to getting ridden hard put it away wet lots of strain on it um you know a lot of wings do stretch but this one you know as a pretty fresh wing feels really good it goes up wind well uh luffs pretty well it doesn't like wonk side to side like a lot of wings when you love them out and again i'm just kind of trying it out for the first time having ridden it and waves but you can tell when you go and pump it doesn't like flop side to side or flip over easily coil lease isn't too coiled right now either <laughs> uh windows work really well so yeah i like anyone that's ridden a nash wing this thing by far is the best Nash wing out there. It, there no question like this thing is way better than any Nash wing I've ridden uh, and holds up to, against most of the other wings that I've ridden out there so I think that uh, you know my only concern is the longevity of it there's a little bit of flutter oh there goes wax I'm looking around um, there's a little bit of flutter on trailing edge but nothing you feel like the flutter it gets annoying when you feel like feeling it your pants shaking around like stars and feet but uh, overall like this is a really user-friendly 
package. Nash is making some user-friendly performance stuff, not the fastest gear, not the highest performance gear that I've ridden, but as well as watching Austin Kalama the other night do these like freaking huge flips on this same foil. Uh, I think a little smaller board, same wing, like huge off of flat water, giant flips, spinny thingies, like I don't know what any of these tricks are, but it was super impressive. So uh, it can definitely be pushed as far as you want to go, or you know, it's still pretty easy too. So really fired up, gonna get some more riding and uh, and uh, try to get some more footage too. Cool. Oh, there goes you. Standing sideways on this tiny board, Segway style. Check it out. So cool. Love it. and then it went up to like you know 20 to 25 plus it's gusty as crap um board super easy too the board you got to move your feet back on so it's just a little different feel than the boards i've been riding but the foil the board all user friendly like fair amount of front foot kick but that's kind of how we have the setting which i do like a little more because then when you stabilize it, it you know gives you a little more turning because that mass is farther forward but the carbon ultra is great the alley obviously it looks pretty cool uh, I personally like the white graphic, just clean, a little more simple for my style. But um, yeah, overall it's awesome. Don't like the leash, a lot line ball, but when it's all stretched out, it doesn't matter that much. But uh, nice, uh, nice first impression on this Nash gear. Fired up, thanks to uh, Ewan and the rest of the team for rigging it up and uh, coming to doing circles around me. Those guys were killing it on the foil, kite foil. It's awesome. All right, time for time for a little Waterman's Bar and Grill. Let's do it. <laughs> 